gotten some pictures here of some fog as well as some rime ice that formed in this fog. This picture actually sent in by our evening anchor James Stratton, his brother in New Windsor, Illinois, just to the, to the just to the south of the Quad Cities actually snapped this picture. You can see some rime ice developing and that's all thanks to the fog that we've got out there. That fog will be with us here into the overnight hours. Dense fog advisory is in effect until noon on your Sunday. So everywhere you see the gray, the gray sh shading, well, that's indicative of where that dense fog is likely to develop as we go into the overnight hours. Now, the only spot reporting some dense fog right now, Monroe, Wisconsin, down to two tenths of a mile. A mile there in Freeport, not awful, but could certainly be better. Four miles here in Rockford at the airport, three miles there in Rochelle, and three miles matched in Sterling. A live look with our state and Main Street cam. Things are looking fairly quiet out there. We got, we've got the haze for sure, but no snow or anything is falling. However, we could see some of that snow as we get into the overnight hours. I really think it's going to be more flurries than anything and certainly not adding up in terms of accumulation. The dense freezing fog, though, is really what we're kind of most concerned about here as we're going into the overnight hours. Those temperatures fall back into the low 20s. Now we've got an area of low pressure centered over southern portions of the state of Illinois. This is pushing off towards the east, and you can see what's happening here on the northern side of this system. Some snow showers breaking out primarily along and south of I-80. I think the best chance for any snow will stay to the south, primarily of that I-80, I-88 corridor here this evening. So keep that in mind. Let's show you future track here. We are at 11 o'clock, 10 o'clock or so. We'll see those snow showers flying during the early part of the overnight hours. Again, nothing in terms of accumulations. However, could certainly be some nice novelty snow flying here during the early morning hours of your Sunday. We'll dry out Sunday afternoon into the evening hours before those clouds build back in just in time for the start of another work week for your Monday. So for tomorrow, 35 degrees. Again, dense fog early on in the morning. Watch out for any slick spots. Again, temperatures are going to be below freezing, so there could certainly be some patchy slick spots because of that fog freezing on contact, decreasing clouds through the afternoon hours. And let's take a look here at how this fog does evolve through the rest of the evening hours and the overnight hours. Here by 2 o'clock in the morning, we're looking at goose egg from Rockford to Freeport. So it is certainly going to be a pretty foggy evening into your early Sunday morning. Again, once we get into the late morning, early afternoon, we'll see gradual improvements before all of that fog does finally lift as we get into the afternoon. Taking a look at that accurate forecast, we've got quiet conditions. Really, again, a small chance for some snow showers on Monday. Another round of possibly some mixed precip for your Wednesday. Look at those temperatures, upper 30s. Let's take a look at your most accurate Monday forecast. Overall, no big Arctic chills heading our way. No big snowy systems heading our way either for anyone that's maybe not a fan of the wintry weather we've had of late.